everyone um hope everybody's doing well um i thought i'd go ahead and share uh, my newest um addition to my ride vehicles which is onboard trigger triggered audio which consists of i have a speaker which is wired around the side here and then right here this in this little red box i have um a triggerable mp3 player then i have an rfid switch that works off um these little pucks on the ground right here, these little uh, keychains. So you can get that, uh, I bought it at Fry Props. And then, oh, sorry about the, if you can see here. On that little block of wood, see that black thing there? That's the antenna that picks up the RFID signal. So then I have this wired up to the back here. So the system, once you turn it on here, powers it up. And then, as the ride vehicle goes over the puck, and the, the antenna goes by it, this manor, as I see, it triggers the has audio. Been home to many strange occurrences over the years. Some say they feel as though they are being watched. Look around for yourself. As you can see, I have another set there. I have two because um, each R RFID switch actually has its own uh, master key. And I tried to make them work with just one, but it, it I guess they're programmed for each individual unit. So I had to use two since I have two ride vehicles. So I just have a duplicate of each one. So as you can see, there's a second set. So as I go over it, it should trigger the second the second audio. Sorry, but apparently the plant is broken into my office. And then if you go over it again. Oh, uh, you made it back. Well, uh, get out. And the only other thing is that um, it, it's set up to where um, if it goes over another trigger while it's still playing the, the first one, or whichever one it's on, it'll actually interrupt it. I'll show you here. This manor, as I've seen, has been hopped. Sorry, but apparently the plant is broken into my office. So basically, that's how it works. So, um, yeah. So um, it didn't work exactly the way I wanted. I don't know if it's just an interference issue or what, but um, well, I mean, if you if I had it timed out right, it would work perfect. But it's not, a lot of times I had it where I would skip one, so I don't know if it was the speed of my vehicle or um, just interference from the motor itself. So I'd have to experiment a little bit more to make it work perfect. But the other way you can do it is instead of using the um the pucks, you can actually for the triggerable MP3 player, you can actually um. Just have like a, a like a limit switch with a little wheel or a trigger on it so when you go over maybe like a little block of wood it'll it'll actually trigger the switch and then it'll switch to the other one that's another way you can do it too i want this route because i thought it would be nice if it actually if i can get it to work right so that way is just wireless and you just put these little these little keychains down little key fobs and like i said um it's available at uh fry props it's actually made for um if you're in like escape rooms and all that good stuff so Anyway, um, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So um, I will catch you in the next video. In the meantime, stay spooky.